Flying Ant Day, when the sky crawls and the past looms larger. It begins with a shimmer in the air, a warm, sticky afternoon, the kind of weather that makes the pavement sweat and the clouds hang low. Then, as if on cue, they rise, winged ants by the thousands, lifting off in a synchronized swarm. They spiral through the sky, cling to windows, land in your hair, and turn a peaceful day into a twitchy, wing-flapping ordeal. Welcome to Flying Ant Day. It's a bit of a mare, isn't it? But before you curse the skies or flee indoors, here's a thought that might offer some perspective, and maybe even a little awe. As irritating as these tiny flyers are, they're nothing compared to what once ruled the ancient forests. Meet Titana Murma, the largest ants ever to have walked and flown over the earth. These prehistoric giants lived around 50 million years ago, during the Eocene epoch. Fossils discovered in Germany, England, and even Wyoming reveal a creature that defies everything we think we know about ants. The queens of Titana Murma Gigantea could grow up to 7 centimeters long, about the size of your index finger, with wingspans stretching over 15 centimeters. That's hummingbird territory. Imagine that. Not a few ants crawling across your picnic blanket, but a swarm of finger-sized insects with wings slicing through the air like prehistoric drones. It sounds like science fiction, but it's fossil fact. Titana Murma likely thrived in warm, humid climates, much like the conditions that trigger today's flying ant swarms. Their fossils suggest they migrated between continents, possibly using ancient land bridges or climate corridors. In a way, they were global travelers long before humans ever took to the skies. Back in the present, Flying Ant Day isn't really a single day, it's a seasonal event known as the nuptial flight. Usually occurring in July or August, it's when millions of winged male and female ants take to the air to mate. Afterward, the males die, and the fertilized queens land, shed their wings, and begin the search for a new colony. It's chaotic, yes, but it's also a marvel of natural timing and instinct. So the next time you find yourself surrounded by a cloud of winged ants, take a moment. Yes, they're annoying. Yes, they might ruin your sandwich. But they're also part of a story that stretches back tens of millions of years. A story of survival, evolution, and creatures far larger than we'd ever expect. Flying Ant Day may feel like a nuisance, but it's also a living echo of a much grander past.